Hey guys, it's um, Andrew here, and today I'm on a super flat land, as you can see. And um, by the name of the video, you probably know what I'm doing. And today I'm going to sh I'm going to ignore those bits in this tutorial, and it's just going to be based on these two bits here. And it's going to be an automatic pig and an automatic cow farm. Um, so first off, I'm just going to I'm just going to show you how it works. And I'm going to do that by using this cow thing here. And I'm just going to do this because you need lots and lots of cows for it to work. And um, I will show you how that, how you can do that in the next tutorial, which I'll put. I'll make another one, which is um, automatic wheat farm. Um, it is a techit based wheat farm. Um, but yeah, so you just need a heck of a lot of cows, like so. Like, okay, I think that's enough, right? and basically you click this they all jump off because they're stupid and here they go off just gonna kill as many as possible okay I'll stop it and they fall through this lava they burn to death and all their stuff gets sucked up and into this chest here okay now to show you how it works um, bloody hell this still I'm just gonna leave it open actually yeah <laughs> um to show you how this works um come on just bloody die oh well I'll just kill all these cuz oh my god right and uh, just die die all right there we go okay so to show you how this works I'm gonna go over here um to start off with um, because I'm on a super flat land, it only goes down three, like so, so you won't need to, um, if you're on a normal world, you won't need to do this, but, um, what you need to do is you need to have it at least three high, or, see how bad I do this. Okay, so if I go underneath here, and just explain how it works, so, you have the pistons, you open the pistons, the animals get shoved out, they fall through the lava, they then to start burning to death and then the obsidian pipe picks it up and takes it into the chest here I tried it with one pig so that I know if it worked or not um, okay so basically what you need is I'm gonna base it on a super flat land because that's what you need so you need to build it three above the um, bedrock you can build it higher so that it all appears above ground so you don't have to go underground you then need to have a too high wall um, of glass or whatever you want I put it in glass so they can see what's happening on the inside then what you're gonna need is you're gonna need to build these two pistons here as you can see there's two pistons here so they can't get through you then need to connect them up with redstone like so you may need a repeater here the side of the lever you need to face the repeater that way as most people know to make them both open at the same time so open and close then the animals will fall down and you need to have underneath so you have two pistons then you have one two three blocks so you have the three blocks and then you have the lava on the fourth block down is that making sense so far so if I come in uh, here actually no I can't do that um, let's just put this back um, since I'm in creative mode I will just kill these two so that I can um, show you how it works let's just open these pistons okay so the animals are in here they get shoved they fall down here so there's a one two three the fourth one is the lava so I'm in the lava at the moment on the fifth one down here you need to have signs so the lava stays up <coughs> and then there's enough room here for the animals to stand and when they burn to death, they will drop their stuff and obsidian pipes in tech it pick up um, stuff that drops on them or they suck up stuff and stuff like that but I found it easier to just put it underneath because the stuff falls into them and it will get sucked up into that chest there um, so yeah so if I um, turn it on and do it with the so yeah, I think I've already shown you how it happens but just so I can show you, I'm going to do it with pigs as well like so um, 
I may, I'll just, actually I might build one, even though I wasn't going to build one, but since I'm not sure many people understood what I was just saying there, I'll do a little building, because this is, I may as well, right, so this is a heck of a lot of pigs going in here, and now the thing about this is, there's a lot of pigs there, so you can go, die piggies, die, 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 and um, yeah, then I've built this so you can come, oh my, oh yeah, I forgot to um, do that, and that, because pigs are small enough to actually escape, so yeah, that would be why it isn't, it didn't work, so, yeah, stupid pigs, so basically what you need to do, is you just need to block off all escapes for the pigs, like so, and then, like that, because now they only have one slot to fall on, um, I think I can get rid of all that, um, give me a bit more room there, now the cool thing about this is, you can spawn the pigs in here as well, like so. You can put the pigs in, like so. So I've got loads and loads of pigs there, haven't I? But then, if you go, this is why it's, you can do it for both of them because you can go cows as well. Um. Oh. Um. All right. Let's just knock him in. No. no. All right. You're gonna die then. Ugh. Come back here. Just a bit. Right. So, lots of pigs. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of animals here. As you can see, there's pigs and cows in there. And this is why it's a pig and cows, because you can just put both of them in. As you can see, I'll leave it open just so I can just come down here and look at this. See, they only have two spots to fall on here. Uh, they're dying, they're dying, they're dying, they're dying, still dying, and as you can see, all their stuff's getting picked up by the obsidian pipe, and it's just funneling through right into this chest here, although it hasn't reached it yet. So, last animal's dying, that was from the last, um, can't say, come on, there we go, that was from the last bit. And uh, there you go, as you can see it's all flying straight up through that tube and into our lovely chest here. Right, now to build it, um, I could build it all out, I'll build it all out of glass. No, actually that won't be helpful. Okay, so I'll build it here I guess. So what you need is you need a, three, you need a two high, like this, and you can build it as long as you want. So you just need to, I'm only going to make it that long, just for purposes, and then like that, okay, get that, right, now what you need to do is get some glass, or whatever you want, and not drop it on the floor, and then build a too high barrier, um, yeah, build a too high barrier, I'll put the um, dropper on this side of it this time so that it, you can see it because um, otherwise I don't think it will be able to um, fit on that side so as you can see I've got the three high by two wide thing and it's one two three four five um, is that, that's set and it's seven long seven long three high two wide seven by three by two and then I have a two high glass barrier going all the way around it um, you then, at the end, want to get some pistons, or a pit, yeah, some pistons, you don't need sticky ones, and you want to go one, two, one, two, like that, as you can see, then what I tend to do is build underneath the pistons, like so, and then what you want to do is you want to go four, so you start on the second piston, lowest piston, then you work your way down in a sort of diagonal arc like that. And then you do it the same on the other side. 
come on other side like so there you go so it look like that then what you want to oh wait I almost forgot you need to go two at the top like that because repeaters can't go down straight away so they have to have a space redstone 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 so you need two at the top like that and then you work your way down so it looked like that okay so I don't need pistons anymore so let's get let's hook up this redstone so if we go into here and go redstone repeaters and redstone um, the reason I'm doing this on TechIt is because I think there's just a lot more available for doing this stuff whereas if um, if this wasn't on TechIt this bit um, what you could do is you could sort out some sort of water flow or something that makes the drops um, drop or something or you can just sort of just walk you can leave it and then walk in grab it all and stuff like that so you have like a piston door and you can walk in and pick it all up but I just thought the obsidian pipes were well easier um, so yeah gotta hook up um, these two things just gonna make it really big like that because I, I want to make sure I have enough room for the um, so I'm just going to put two repeaters down here like so and then get a, I don't need these anymore and now I need a lever just on this side here like that so it will do that and the pistons are now closed now what you want to do is you want to build down this sort of glass fence here like so like that yeah that is right <laughs> I thought I got it wrong for a second there but yeah it is right and um, then what you're gonna want to do here is you're gonna have the three above the surface and then three down so overall it's gonna be um, if you're on a normal world it's gonna be a six high thing it's gonna be six high so you have one two three four five six and then on the bottom layer you're gonna want to you're gonna want to just dig out uh, an area where you can walk around and have enough room to uh, collect everything that you want um, I'm just going to take these walls back, I'm making it a lot bigger than I need to here right now right here is where, you, where it gets annoying because you have to go I'm just gonna make sure that that is in the yeah so right here is where you're gonna need the obsidian pipes so I get the obsidian transport pipe these pick stuff up and then what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to dig them out like that and then right here like so and to make it a lot easier I would just use um two different kinds of transport pipes so you have the I take cobblestone and stone because they don't connect and it just makes it a lot easier because you can't don't have to use iron transport pipes or anything so there you go that's all set up now what we have to do is build the glass thing that would go around it like so but first of all what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some don't need those anymore I'm going to get some signs and since I'm in creative mode, I'm just going to get some lava sources instead of lava buckets. Actually, I'm going to just put it there and there. It's a lot easier. And then you just go boom, boom, like so. So those just lava stays there. Okay. And then always if it stops lagging, um, then all you all you need is you need an exit out. like so that doesn't destroy your circuit <laughs> so yeah that should all be working and then all you need is a chest at the top now you can use crystal chest or anything but I think that a normal chest is just gonna suit you fine because you don't need that much food and leather and stuff do you um, now um, yeah that should all work and then as you saw before you just put the animals in and it works so just to um, test it out 
Um, I need a cow, spawn cow, and a pig. And um, I'm just going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And then uh, same for the pigs. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And I'm going to get rid of these. And then you go boom. And then they all fall down like so. I'm only going to do it for that long. If you come down here, they all burn to death. And if they stop throwing, all their food that they dropped now goes into the pipes and up into the chest. Now to prove that it works, I'm just going to come over here to my automatic wheat farm. Um, this will be another tutorial on how to do it. It is also another obsidian one with Tekkit, but um, it's simple enough. And the obsidian collects it and brings all of it into this chest here. Now that we, I, you, um, for that to be efficient, you need to have a huge wheat farm. So it needs to be really long and really wide, um, so that it gets loads of it at once. Because the only problem with this is I need I don't it doesn't um, stay hoed. Um, so it's kind of like um, I don't really know how to speed that up. So what? So you have to rehoe it yourself. So like that. But um, yeah. And then to show that it is an automatic one, you just have to come in here and just go around like hell. Oh. Just go around like nothing on earth, kicking, clicking these cows, finding new ones every minute. The only problem with this is it does take 20 minutes for their babies to come to uh, sort themselves out to grow up into adults. So you have you can only do it every 20 minutes. But yeah, that's um, that's my automatic cow farm. Um, I made this because one of my other videos that I made ages ago gets like um everyone keeps watching it and saying like oh you can do this and you can do that and stuff and it's a really really old video and um I just wanted to do this because it's not even a tutorial on it it was just something in a series that people obviously thought was something important and you get you get like loads of dislikes on it cuz they don't cuz it's the wrong thing and they didn't think it was what they thought it was so um I just thought well I'm not sure I'm going to hit that cow, so I'm not going to do it. So I just thought I'll make this because I can put that on and then I can put, like, watch for a tutorial or something. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I hope it made sense. Um, the next time you come back, I probably will have destroyed that one and this one and just have this one because otherwise I'll get, like, my computer isn't that good. It's not like, um, I mean, it's got like 6 gig RAM and stuff, but um, it's only got like a 1.8 gigahertz processor or something and... Although on a super flat land I get like 80 FPS, um, using fraps takes a lot out of it, so I'm just gonna, gonna get rid of two of them. So yeah. yeah sorry about that, my mum burst in. <laughs> God dang it! She uses this room as well, sort of like an area that the whole family uses. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, I hope it made sense. Um, some constructive criticism would be nice. Or actually, no criticism would be nice, but if you think there's a way I could improve it, then that would be really helpful. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in my next tutorial.